He said that PDP has consistently demanded the revocation of the Draconian Armed Forces Special Powers Act along with the gradual removal of troops. It also formulated an important part of our agenda of alliance wholeheartedly agreed upon by the BJP. Deir ai, durust ai, better late than never, but only if it isn't another jumla like the earlier ones by uh, the government generating two crore jobs every year or empty promises of depositing 15 lakhs into their bank accounts. One can only hope that they fulfill their commitment, at least in this case, since it would bring a massive relief to the people of Jammu and Kashmir. To walk the talk, perhaps, Ministry of Home Affairs can start by releasing journalists and thousands of young Kashmiri boys currently languishing in jails without any charge or prosecution. Arunima joins us for more on this. Arunima, the PDP's first reaction coming in, hoping that the centre walks the talk. But tell us a little bit more about this plan uh, with the Home Minister saying that there is thought uh, of revoking the Armed Forces Special Powers Act. Undoubtedly, there has been a drastic reduction in stone pelting and militancy related violence. But what exactly is going to be the plan of the Home Ministry? So this is not the first time that central government is talking about withdrawing AFSPA or changing the the way uh, armed forces operate in the valley. Last year, Daksha Mantri Rajnath Singh had also said that when permanent peace returns to Jammu and Kashmir, AFSPA will go. Home Minister also reiterating in, in the interview that we are open to considering revocation of AFSPA. In the past also, to, to take you back to the Chidambaram era when he was the Home Minister, when the UPA was in power, there were repeated demands from Omar Abdullah Mehbooba Mufti saying that she, when in, in alliance with the BJP, had also put forward this demand. So not the first time. AFSPA is a very contentious issue in the valley. There was a time when terrorism was at its peak and it was required uh, for the army to, be ha to have special powers and special protection. But since then, the incidents have gone down. Since 2019, Home Minister claimed 70% reduction in terror incidents. So the mm -hmm. civilians there are asking, why are you then giving army the power to search uh, to arrest and even to shoot, to kill. Why are these special powers given to them even in civilian areas? So this messaging from Home Minister in an election year is definitely going to be good news. But like PDP is expressing concern, other opposition parties in the valley expressing concern that please walk the talk, tell us when are you doing it. It will not be an easy decision. A lot of stakeholders will have to be on board for this decision to be implemented. But